For today's little adventure, we are going to be doing the MGA's Miniverse Make It Mini Food Halloween Edition. So I've got some caramel apples, looks like some punch, some kind of coffee. Yeah, so I love Halloween, so I thought this would be kind of a fun one to do. I don't know what are the options of it, but it should be fun to see. I love, I love caramel apple. I love caramel apples. Ooh, spooky. I didn't know they had something that you could see through on the top like that. Huh, <laughs> looks like fun. Just trying to go down the thing here. If I can get to it. Ooh, look at that. It's got like a little table. That is so cool. Can't wait to put this out for my Halloween decorations. Huh. Okay, so we've got this little thank you thing. Don't know what it is exactly. We have this cool looking table. It goes up here. Oh, look at that. It's got the black and orange checkered. That is awesome. We got this. I'm assuming it looks like a spoon related thing. We have this. No idea what that is. Let me say, have a spooky day. And this is have a spooky day too. All right. And then we have this. Don't have a chill out. <clears throat> and then we have happy sun made fresh. Okay. So we got a couple of these. You can see the different instructions in different languages. Yes. Read me first. Okay. But first, before we read, we're going to read. But I want to look at the different options we have. Okay. So there's only three. There is a pumpkin spice latte, the caramel apples, and the pumpkin pie. I don't want to really do the pumpkin pie. Nice. So I'm thinking we must be having the pumpkin caramel apples, which is awesome because I love caramel apples because it had, came with this. So that's what I'm thinking which is amazing. Okay. Love it. All right. So let's read me first. Okay. Before you start, contents including specifications of colors may vary from photos depicted. Cover the play area to prevent resin damage to surfaces. An adult must be present when playing with resin. Resin bottle will have a foil seal. Once open, use all resin or store and bottle out of the direct sunlight or it will set and harden in the bottle. Adults should remove the foil seal. Da, 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 da. Tools may be required to remove the foil seal if there is in the bottle. Close by. Okay, storage and display. Connect peg A, top half B. Well, does that fit in there? Oh, it does fit in there. So when you're not using it, you can put it in here even though because it does have a thing where you can see where it should under if I do like this, if it'll fit. There we go. I'm gonna put it like that. And then you can just cover it up and you can just play it that way. That's kind of cool, I like that. Okay, good to know. All right, back to reading the instructions. <clears throat> Table assembly, we've already done that. A and B, how to play with resin, okay. Build your di dish or drink using the ingredients and step-by-step -step recipe card from your pack. Once you have your dish or drink pre prepped, place it under daylight or UV light with a tray. Set the resin for at least five, five minutes or until the resin has hardened. After you're done, clean surfaces. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. All right. So for the caramel apples. All right. So... We have one, two, three. Okay, so let's see what we got. This is the crumble. All right. This is the sprinkles. Ooh, I'm gonna have to get me a plate for these. Those are so fun. So I mean, this is just the, ah, look at that, the pumpkin guy. I love that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him, but that is so cool. Oh, you can put, can you put it on here? Does it go like right here or something? 
Where does this guy go? I want to know where this pumpkin guy goes. I don't know where he goes, but he is really nifty. Oh, maybe he goes up in here. Does he go up in here? <gasps> he does go up in here. Okay, how cool is that? I'm loving it. Oh, oh, like that. Oh my gosh, can you guys see that? Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. Do you see his little pumpkin-y face? Oh, so cute. Sorry. All right, so this is the caramel. Ooh, caramel dip. I'm thinking this is the resin. Yeah, this is the resin. Oh, it, looks like it looks like caramel, though. How cool is that? Amazing! I mean, this is awesome looking. Okay, so this is a tray, I bet. Yep, this tray goes on. This goes on top. And then we have our apples. Oh my god. Oh, look at that. They're so cool. Okay, I love these happy sun farms. A little sunshine carrying an apple and you got a little ghost oh my god i'm so excited okay so what i need to figure out is i need to put i want to put the sprinkles i need to be able to dump them or like put them on something so i'm gonna get me a plate grab a, grab a paper plate real quick and left over so i can do that the crumbles I did not realize I would need paper plates. Okay, so this is gonna, I'm gonna open this up and just kind of let it sit in the light for a minute. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. Okay, so I have this plate here. This is so exciting. I'm so excited about this. Oh, look at that. Look how those sprinkles come out. Oh, that's so cool. I'm super excited. <laughs> and then we have the crumble. Okay, so the crumble says sun baked sweets crumble. And this is just sprinkles. Those black and orange sprinkles. I'm so excited. I, I love Halloween and I love caramel apples. So this is just awesome. So there's three apples. Oh, look at the crumble. Okay, that's interesting. So that's what the crumble looks like. All right. Can this be stirred? Oh, okay, so it's good to go. All right, so we're gonna do our apples. I just, I love that they're already on a stem. They're already prepped and ready to go. I'm just gonna put them in here. So what is the best way to do this, I wonder? I would think maybe to have the crumbles here and kind of dip it in the crumbles maybe. And then just kind of sit it right there maybe. Let me get a little bit of the crumb around from the bottom so I can kind of put it here. I think it's really only enough space for maybe two. Or just do one that's just caramel, just plain caramel. I might just do that one where it's just a plain caramel apple, but it needs to be thicker because it's not very thick. Like it doesn't look like a thick caramel apple. Because if you look at a caramel apple, it's pretty covered. So, I mean, the idea is cool, but, like, it's not as caramel -y as you would think it looks. You know what I mean? Oh, gosh, turn that down on my fingers. really good. That one's good. Just, let's do it on the side because it's kind of well. It's like doing real caramel apples where if you mess up a little bit it kind of ruins the whole thing. Okay there we go. Put that one like right there. 
And then this one, I just want to do the caramel part. Oh, yeah, I have a spoon you can use. Nice. I want to just dip it in the caramel and hope it gets really caramely covered looking. Like, I want it to look like it's covered in caramel kind of a thing. pretty mm, not as caramely as I would like but still pretty caramely that's still pretty good so we're gonna stick it right here so we're gonna have caramel apple crumble apple and our sprinkle apple it's gonna go right there so thank you for joining us for today's little adventure and please join us for our next today's little adventure